In this video, I want to break down how to add some really cool film burn transitions to your videos using my film burn transition pack, which is for sale on my digital store. Now, this is not a plugin or a preset, these are just simply overlays. So, once you go ahead and purchase a product, it should just send you a download link where there should be a zip file. All you have to do is just unzip that file. Now, once you unzip the file, it should just have a folder called film burn transitions. Now what you want to do is you want to store that folder usually in some sort of external hard drive. So you can see my Samsung T7. If I go to editing assets, as you can see, right, if I open this folder right here, this is a folder you should, that should come with when you um, buy the product, film burn overlays. And this is the folder that should, um, this is the folder you should have once you unzip the file. And if I open up the folder, this is what it should look like. So make sure you have all these inside your folder and go ahead and just store that into some sort of external hard drive. Again, not plug in, not a preset, so don't put it in your motion template folder or your effects presets folder. So as you can see, these are what the transitions look like. As you can see, they create these really cool like light leak film burn like, effects on top of your video. They're just really clean transitions. So let's go ahead, I'll just go ahead and disable all of these and we'll wait for Final Cut to run. So I'll show you the before and then I'll show you the after. So here is the before. As you can see, obviously it looks perfectly fine, but this is what it looks like without any of the transitions. As you can see, again, looks perfectly fine. Now let's make it look even better by enabling all these transitions. And as you can see, there you go. You have some really cool like light leak transitions and they're just really cool. They're really easy to do. You can you know, add them in literally like 30, 40 seconds. And let me go ahead and show you how to do that. So let's go ahead and just delete film burn overlay two and I'll show you how to simply just put that on top of your timeline. Now what you want to do is all you want to do is click on command I to bring up the import window and then you're just going to locate where you have it saved. As you see film burn overlays, you can either select on the folder or you can open the folder and basically select each of the individual ones. So let's, let's say we want to do this one and then all you want to do is click on import selected and that would import that back or that would import it into Final Cut. So let's say we want to use film burn overlay too. So simply drag it onto your timeline. Now what you want to do is you want to find the brightest part in the clip. So we're going to go with this, kind of go frame by frame. You're trying to find like the brightest part in the clip. So let's say right here here and basically click on M to create a marker. So just finding the brightest part. Now you want to place that part in between the two clips. That's why we put a marker there just so it's easy to know exactly where that part in the clip is. Now if we go ahead and play the clip right here. As you can see that obviously looks weird. Now you have to do is you have to change the blend mode. So select on the overlay, click on blend mode right here and then go here and you want to change it to screen. And there you go, you could also change the different, I uh, kind of mess with the other blend modes, but because the background of these overlays are black, you want to change it to screen. So as you can see, there we go, because we changed the blend mode to screen, now you have a really clean transition. And you can go ahead and mess the blend mode. You can mess with kind of where you want the clip lining up. So if you line up a little bit differently, it's going to create a little bit of a different effect, as you can see. So it's just obviously, it's a personal preference, kind of figuring out. But in my opinion, putting the, kind of, you want to find the brightest part, so basically like it covers up the clip. In my opinion, I think it should make the transition look a lot better but of course you can mess with it and kind of get to your personal preference there is no right or wrong way of doing it but there you go and that's how you use the really cool transitions now you can use apply those same steps to all 10 of them and to create some really cool transitions anyways hopefully you found this video helpful and informative again if you want to download and use these really cool transitions. They're for sale on my digital store. The link is down in the description below. Hopefully you really enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.